No way. Right off the bat, as soon as it hit the water. Oh, it's a big fish, bro. What's up, y'all? <laughs> We're thugging today, man. I dare you to come to Greyhawk and park your car right next to the pond. I'm gonna see how long this lasts. <laughs> I'm meeting with my buddy Nick down here. He hit me up on Instagram. I get kicked out of here almost every time I come here. But I told him it's easy to get kicked out, but he just parked right next to the ponds. No stress, man. I'm gonna do the same thing. We're just right here. Apparently he's been here about 20 minutes now. Already pulled out a four and a half pounder. Crazy. And he said it was all on white colored baits, so I'm gonna probably just possibly ask to borrow one if he's talking about Texas rig. I've got a shad chatterbait tied on, but if he's talking about something on the bottom, I've got a Texas rig, and I'll throw whatever color's working, man. I'm not opposed to it, that's for sure. What's up, dude? I'm good, man. Nice to meet you, I'm Nick. Weston, pleasure, dude. Something moving or on the bottom? Like, what so are you throwing? The big 4.62 pounder was on chatterbait. Sweet. So you're, you're ready. Then, although I caught the three little ones on this on these rage tails. Okay. So, rage tails. I yeah. feel like that's what I've got as my trailer. No, that's different. Popping that on the bottom like like Texas rigged or what? Yep, yeah, Texas rigged. Well, hey, dude. I'm ready. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Yeah. I already caught a four and a half. That's insane. That's like not long ago. That was my personal best. That is my personal best. You just caught your personal best this morning? No way. That's insane. Yeah, a lot of people have been sending me pictures of like fives out of here recently, but it's so easy to get kicked out. Have you just been hanging out here or did you start on one side and walk down a little bit? Just here? Crazy. Well, dang. <laughs> I got a feeling close to that drain over there might be good. Yeah, we got one first cast over there. I was right, that drain. I can't even tell how big it is because it's kind of they kind of bit it weird. <laughs> That's a, nice, dude. All right, y'all. First one in the morning. Meeting up with Nick, man. He told me the bite was on. And uh, check it out. Just a couple minutes in, shad chatterbait. I forget what trailer I'm throwing this morning, guys, but it's a standard Z-Man chatterbait with a little like 3.75 or 4 inch swim bait on the back end. Nothing crazy. Gold standard, man. Caught us a little little pounder right off the bat over here by this drain. We're going to see if we can't get some more. Well, that was cool. I'll take that. That was maybe five minutes in. No, not even. That was just a few minutes in, a few casts over out deep, and then I went shallow and hit over there by that drain. Bet you there's another one or two I could snag out of that. All right. I'm going to see if there's more right here. Nice and shallow. I'm telling you. Oh, I thought I got bumped again. This could be the danger zone right here. Do you mind if I try one of those rage tails? Yeah, go ahead. I, I kind of want to throw it on the back of here if you don't mind because... No, I don't mind at all. Yeah. This happens all the time. So, it's just like the perfect length to get on that hook. Right on the hook. Yeah. It's not the best. Go ahead. I, I got more confidence in something I can just feel moving and this thing just yeah. messes up all the time. Yeah, you're good. Thank you so much. Is that the white bird rod or something different? That's the white bird, yeah. You like it? I like it a lot. I want to get that one next. A lot of people ask me questions about it because it's yeah. not super expensive, yeah. right? It's yeah. like very good price. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I need to get one. I think it's like, that's the heavy one. I think it's... Yeah, that's what I want to get. Nine. Seven, six or something like that? I'm not sure. I think there might be two different lengths for the heavy. I think there might be, yeah. Because yeah. I think down seven, four. Okay. Yeah. Got you. Yeah. So when you're filming, do you just let the GoPro run like the whole time? Yeah, the whole time because you never know what's going to happen. Okay. But you, the problem with uh, you might be is yeah. uh, your card size. So uh, you I got, oh, a, dude, you got a 256 in there. It is? It has to be because it says seven hours. Oh, I thought but was, you're shooting in 1080p, so never mind. You probably have a oh, 128 or yeah, something. Yeah, I thought that that's what it was. I yeah. think you have a 128 okay. then because mine will shoot um, four hours on a fully formatted 128 card of 4K. Okay. And so I usually shoot 4K. It's capturing so much that the quality is probably good for something like YouTube if somebody's viewing on a big screen. Yeah. But now, like, this is always 1080. Okay. That doesn't even shoot 4K. Okay. So, and I've got a bunch of extra batteries. Right. But what some of the Googans do, like what John does, is yeah. he actually just keeps a power bank plugged into his. Okay. Like, see, I've got this mic adapter. Yeah. So you can run just any old mic, like Same. a cheap mic. Okay. But if you're not using a mic, yeah. you can just plug, uh, you can take that little door off. Okay. And you can plug a uh, power bank and have it in your pocket. Right. You could just be running all day. All time, 
okay. all day. Yeah. Oh yeah, this is gonna, this is gonna do it. Woo, it really flutters. Number two. Sweet. Number two, guys, right off that drain again. Well, a little past it this time, but uh, I actually cast it out towards that fountain, and he hit a little deeper. Thought it was a bigger guy the way he was taking it. He took some line out there for a second, but uh, we're not gonna argue the bite's the bite, man. Nick brought us some good luck. We're already on fish number two in probably 15 minutes. I think he's gone. <laughs> no, he's not gone. Oh, he's he's <laughs> Thanks, nice, dude. Yeah. yeah, they are digging the bright white. So weird. I wouldn't have thought that here. Like, it's not that the visibility is really not that bad, you guys. But they are just hitting the shad chatterbait. I can't even imagine that the stuff in here is feeding on anything that looks like this. I assume they're on crawfish and little bluegill. Yeah, so I'm, I'm kind of confused, but yeah. we'll take it. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be so good. Switch over to the jig for a second while we're on this side. Nice and calm right here. This is gonna be deadly. Oh, and look, I must be using the right color. Somebody else's bait is over here, black and blue. They might know the deal. Right in the corner. Gotta be something around here. Oh, something's grabbed it. Something's swimming, swimming, got him, got him. He grabbed it right here in front of me, dude. Super sick. Come on up. That's the biggest one for me. That's a that's probably a two and a half right there, huh? Nice sized one. Sweet black and blue jig over here in this corn, uh, corner pocket, y'all. Crawl trailer. Bada bing, bada boom. Biggest one for me of the morning for sure. Might be a two and a half, tough to say here. But uh, nice fish regardless out of this little pond, you guys. Having fun this morning. I think my GoPro battery's about to die. GoPro died after my last big one. And uh, I had to go get some more batteries. And then once you know it, Nick linked up on the first one he's caught since I've been here. I think it's his, fourth, it's his fifth fish. Fifth fish of the morning. Check this little young buck out. Uh, yep, got it on the white chatterbait. Dang. They're hitting that chatterbait this morning, y'all. Not playing around. Let's get some more, though, because the bite is still hot. All right, let's get back in action with the jig. Got a fresh battery in the GoPro. And Craw still sitting on that finesse jig. Skirt's still there. Good. Yeah, that last fish, I just noticed that when I was bringing it closer right here, that it's pretty deep and uh, I wasn't letting the jig sink all the way down to the bottom, so he was definitely just chilling down there. Grabbed it as soon as I let it drop. Crack and crawl, starting to move down a little bit, getting torn up. Oh, got a bite. Shit. Do you see that? I saw it. Yeah. Dang, dude. Like the the side. E yeah. I think something's swimming with it right now. I'm just gonna set it. Nice. That one? Yep. Nice. <laughs> I was like, it's a ways away. <laughs> oh, that's not a bad one either, I don't think. On the jig. Simmer down. Right in the top of the mouth, not going anywhere. Wow for real another two plus out of the Greyhawk ponds you guys rocking and rolling get on back get on back oh slow rolling there he is just cruising we've got a cracking crawl right here if you want to use it because it'll yeah, be the I'll same thing all right yeah get it oh dude what? there's like a dam or something over here the, it's like a waterfall. Oh, 
Wait. We should totally go hit that. Oh, legit? No, maybe it. No, maybe a waterfall. We should totally go yeah. hit that because we're right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Dude. Yep. All right, y'all, we got a few catches here, but we're going to try a spot right next to us, uh, just on the other side of this bridge. It opens up again, and we're probably going to walk the banks over there and hit a spot that looks like a little dam or waterfall. Should be, should be pretty killer. All right, guys, we just rolled up to the little waterfall spot. I'm sure it's going to be stacked. Uh-oh. First cast snagged. Got it. This is really shallow. Yeah. Oh, got, got, got one. Got one. Got one. Oh, wow, dude, this one's, that's okay. Oh my goodness. Look, he's trying to dig with it. This is a decent one right here. Wow, this is a decent fish, dude. Oh my gosh. What do you weigh? Whoa. Oh my gosh. What do we say? We saw this waterfall, thought it looked so juicy, cast it over here, and I said, man, it's like looking really shallow. I don't know if there's gonna be anything over here. I threw the jig first, cast got stuck. Second cast, if I'm not mistaken. Homie hit it. Black and blue finesse jig with the crack and craw trailer. Let's see how much this one weighs. This will be the first one I put on the scale for y'all this morning. Uh, I'm saying three for sure, but who knows? Could even be a little higher. We'll get to you in a second. <laughs> it's acting up. Almost a four pounder second cast on the black and blue jig. Holy smokes, guys. We gotta get a couple more like this right here this morning. Let's go. And it's fine, yeah, it doesn't matter. Okay. No way, right off the bat, as soon as it hit the water. No way, hey, hey, big one, Nick. Nick, as soon as it hit the water, dude, yes. Like, look at this thing thrashing. Oh my gosh, he's he is taking us. Oh, it's a big fish, bro. It's another big fish. Oh my gosh, like it's a big, big fish. Dude, as soon as it hit the water. Oh my gosh, that's a fat one. And oh my gosh, smoked it. Y'all, first cast out here closer to that drain in the background just right out in the middle. The jig didn't even hit the bottom. Homie just scooped it up as soon as it hit the surface. I literally, I cast it, and I'm like, my line is just moving. As soon as it hit the water, so sick. Set the hook. This is, I don't know what this is. It's over four. It's gotta be over four. Let's get the scale. Black and blue jig is killing it today, ladies and gents. Killing it. Oh yeah. Man, what great camera work by Nick, man. We are so appreciative, come here. We just caught some huge fish. He caught a four and a half before I got here, a little bit larger than mine, four, four six two. Four six two, that was a four four nine. We just let go a 3.88, some solid fish this morning. It is absolutely insane. We wanted to come and hit this waterfall, but this big one came out deep over here. Just as soon as the jig hit the water, boom, started taking the line, absolutely crazy. I think Nick's the good luck charm, man. So we're happy to go fishing with him anytime. We're gonna go ahead and uh, dip another line and see if we can't catch some more for you guys. We cast it for a little while after I caught that four and a half, but it didn't have too much luck, but it was a blast, man. We had a great day. This one I've never even fished before four and the average of my two I pulled out were both over four pounds so pretty crazy what I'm gonna do for you guys is hook you up with Nick's Instagram page I'm gonna put that down in the top of the description and also just in case you were wondering every fish caught today before I got here or not was on the favorite rods every single one of these was on a 
sweet favorite stick. If you guys are curious about getting into a favorite rod, because you're probably curious after watching some of my videos, we've got 20% off for you guys down in the description as well. We got like four Defender rods, one rigged rod, one white bird, uh, casting and spinning setups, man, they all get the job done. You've seen it. Go ahead and scoop a couple up, maybe three, four, five. You can't have too many. Catch you on the next one. <gasps>